Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and we're playing Fallout 3. So, if you recall, last time I was wandering around in an abandoned schoolhouse trying to get some, uh, some ammo. Ooh, and there are some enemies up there. Let's see, do I have any ammo left? Not really. I probably shouldn't still be down here. Um, actually, uh, I'm gonna run away. Maybe I'll come back later. But, yeah, I was trying to get some ammo so I can survive the wasteland. But it, that just didn't seem to be working out. Let's see. Is there any... Oh, there's a little bit of ammo. Is there any more? Well, there's more stuff I can sell. Which, in turn, I can... Oh, is somebody following me? Um... So it's one of the... Aha! Uh -huh. I'm gonna run up and whap this guy. Gotcha! Ah, huh, interesting. There is a, a cute little ka sound when you, uh... Now that I do have some ammo, maybe I will see what, what else I can do. Let's see. What is that ammo for? for an assault rifle. Okay, that'll do. Oh, and there is my foe. Oop, and that was all the ammo I had. Yeah, this is not working out all that great when it comes to uh, conserving ammo. But maybe I'm getting near to whatever I... to the end of this area. And I do only see one foe. Sometimes things drop from the ceiling on you and fall out, but I don't see anything. Nope, just this one dude. So, if you're using melee weapons, you want to be normally backing off continually while swinging your weapon. Is there anything else interesting in here? I don't see anything. There are lots of eggs and some people. Oh, oh, hello. I um, don't see what's chasing me, but I hear it. Ah. Lots of ants. Not good. But... Let's see if I can back off enough so that I don't get hit. Cool. Get some, some ant meat to sell. I still see can still hear some ants chittering around somewhere near here. Aha! They're coming from where I was. But I bet that there's some good loot on those bodies. So I am going to... Yeah, throughout most of Fallout, your enemies are a little bit faster than, than you are, so you can't really do this kind of backing off strategy. But ants just might be an exception. Okay, get some other goodies from these guys. Oh, nice. If I can get this... No, that's not the right way to do it. How do we... What key is it to lift things up? No, that's to duck. That is to drag. Okay. And... Ooh. Not a great sound. And I need to... Repair my way... Down... Okay, that should be good enough. I don't see anything else in here. Looking good. Oh, and I should probably... Right down when I start these. Okay, I guess it's just all ant meat. So I'm probably done here. The whole prize of this adventure was, presumably, just to loot off those bodies. One of them is a skill book. <coughs> and I guess I'm actually going to save that until later. Because there's a trait that you can pick up that... Uh, that gives you more skills for every skill book you read. 
Or at least, I know that there's one in Fallout New Vegas. I don't remember if there's one in Fallout 3. Let's see, is... Wait, was there... No, I thought I saw a gun here. Maybe not. At this point, do I have any firearms? Yes, I have an assault rifle. I think there were some foes outside that I didn't choose to fight when I was heading in, in here. Yes, upstairs. And they're only in this direction. I can tell by... Oh, and they've heard me. I have a really sucky sneak skill right now. Keep around the corner so that they hopefully can't see me. So I'm ready to fight them. Maybe climb up here. This will give me a good view on them. And I will tiptoe around and should be just over there. They can't see me yet. I can see them. It's just the way we want it. That's one of them dead. And a lot of my ammo gun. Okay. The other one... I don't quite see him right now, but he is just over to the right somewhere. Sweet. Gotcha. And I still have a little bit of ammo left, which is great, because I'm badly short on ammo. I'm going to switch back to my tire iron for now. Well, there's an upper floor entrance. I think I saw the other side of that entrance before. I'm not going to bother popping in. So I think I've pretty much cleared out this area. Now it's time to loot. Turn on the flashlight. Hmm... Okay. I do need to be a little bit careful because there are sometimes mines and stuff. Huh. Could put on a helmet, which will give me a little bit more armor. It's not a very good helmet, but it'll do. Can't. The whole reason I'm picking up all this armor is, is that I can sell it. It's not that great on its... It's not something I would use, but it's another type of fender trash. Okay, nothing in there. Beer isn't worth a lot. are worthless. Some bottle caps give me more currency. Empty lockers. Some more weapons. Good. A hockey mask. Great. I can... Oh, it's not showing me... Well, anyhow. Anything in here? No. The reason I'm, I'm staying ducked... Oops, that said it was empty and I opened it anyhow. Is that... That way at least I get the nice red warning light if somebody spots me. But it does slow down my movement rate, so I, I'm not going to do it continually. Let's get up. Darts are fantastic weapons. Very partic uh, They have a very particular purpose, but they're fantastic... Did I already go this way? I think I may have already gone this way. No. Oh. Okay, another piece of armor to... I like looting the, the armor off of my foes, just to make it apparent that I've already uh, looted their body. Okay. Stuck down, just to... 
Okay, we'll just check the dumpsters and then head back to Megaton. Okay, some cigarettes. A few more money. Okay, that's looking good. Got my eye on you. Oh. Okay, so if I can make my... So there is a an attribute skill... Uh, attribute book in his uh, house. I think you get strength or agility, maybe. If, if he comes to trust you enough and let you in. See, are we still open? No, we're closed. Well, then I will have to wait until this shop opens. are those hot little potatoes? I think she's talking because, about the mines. Because, you know, they're on the ground. Like potatoes. And hot because they... Anyway. Okay, so I will sell her my junk. Um, oh, did I forget to repair the those weapons together? Let's see. Yeah, I didn't I didn't repair all the weapons together yet. <coughs> okay. How are those hot little oh, potatoes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So let's look through the weapons first. This does six damage. This does four. Let's get rid of this. This. Yes. Um, hmm. Oh, these use the same weapon, 10 millimeters, so I could do a Chinese pistol or a regular pistol. Well, the Chinese pistol does less damage. Let's get rid of that. Um, definitely don't need this, or this, or this. Not going to eat, not going to even do those kinds of attacks. Um, yeah, don't need that. I thought it was worth more, though. Sell all the beer and the ant meat. Mac and cheese, wine. Fortunately, she doesn't have enough money to really buy all my uh, all of my uh, junk. Well, actually, though, I can buy some stuff from her. Should help it uh, even out, I think. Does she have ammo? Yes, yeah, she does have ammo, and I am badly in need of ammo. What types of weapons do I have again? Well, that wastes way too much. On the other hand... 10 millimeter rounds would be good. Um, buy the 32 rounds. Assault rifle uses 556. Well, it, I have nothing that uses 5mm rounds. At least uh, this means I'm not likely to run out of, uh, of ammo anytime soon. And I can sell off the rest of my stuff. Also, one of the nice things about ammo in this game is that it doesn't weigh anything. actually do want to get rid of all these cartons, even if it does mean buying ammo that I can't use yet. 
A lunchbox, no bottle. Good hunting! Just because management of weight uh, in, in the Fallout games is such a big deal. You, you can't really, uh... can't really do a lot if... Well, in any case, let's see. What are we going to do next? Because we have a little bit more ammo. It would be nice to... have a companion. To do that, um... And I actually wander up towards Minefield and beyond. There's a scrapyard that we can visit. Where we're gonna get a buddy. I think we already marked the scrapyard. Yeah, so this is what DC looks like after the apocalypse. It's Probably pretty weird for people who live in DC or who are much more familiar with DC than I am. I haven't visited DC that many, t uh, many times in my life. It's not actually a city that I have a lot of fondness towards. It's not that I hate it, it's just its layout seems... Well, I mean, I know I've probably not seen the good bits, but it's not a very charming city. Ah, interesting. It's a radioactive uh, part of the wasteland. Oh, and I guess I'm still in the... No, I'm getting beyond it now. I have the feeling that the game is probably going to like to... to get me a random encounter soon. And I'd kind of like to know about it before the game starts it. So you'll probably see me crouching and uncrouching a lot just to see if anyone spotted me. Oh. Okay, somebody up there. Whoop, gotta get some kind of a weapon ready. Let's see. Be wary, wary. Oh, and they've spotted me before I've spotted them. Great. Not, not sure what it is yet. Oh, it's, it's a mutant fly. is just about the opposite of dramatic. I killed a fly. And where are we on the map? Okay, well, if we actually want to go... I hear some other critter nearby. Let's see. North and a little bit east is where the junkyard is put this up. Your movement speed, I think, is a little bit slower when you have a weapon out. Hmm. Thought I heard something. Are there are a bunch of buildings around here that you probably want to learn so that you can fast travel to them, but there's a dilemma because the closer you get to them, you'll probably find out that they're not exactly empty. And there might be raiders or something living in them who will start shooting at you. I'm not sure I really have the health to survive a lot of that right now. Or the ammo. Another fun thing that you'll start seeing later on in the game, which I'll do for fun, Cars explode if you shoot them. Because in this uh, in this universe, uh, nuclear power is possible and a lot more efficient. Okay, I wanted to learn whatever area this is. But, oh yeah, there's a raider up there. Yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. 
duck and that gets her. Oh shoot. There's still somebody nearby. Okay, we'll take a tire iron. Oh, but I did learn the area. Oh, shoot. kind of disgusting. Oh, I got some ammo. This is not a long-range weapon, so I'm going to be doing a lot of waiting. Oh! Did not see that. I should have been more careful. some other foes nearby. thing about Simpax is that they're immediate relief. Will you just stand still? Not in the cards, my man. Not in the cards. Okay, but you did start a fight and there are some weapons you have that I probably want. When you turn up, well, I don't mind being a coward if I'm alive. bump up our repair skill, which is always important if you actually want care about the condition of your uh, your weapons and armor. And you should, because your, uh, your armor will protect you more and your weapons will protect you more if they're in better condition. Hmm. We're going to keep on improving our basic stats here. Keep running. And let's save. I like being in the habit of saving whenever I level up. Okay, so... Somewhere... There's a foe right above me. In that corner, who's sniping? 
I don't really see a good way of, get, of getting up to him. Directly. Uh, at least not, not quickly enough that he won't be able to get some shots at me while I approach. There he is. Okay. Is there any way I can still manage to knock him out from over here? Let's see. Oh, and I have some cover, which is helpful. And now that he knows that I'm here. Let's see if he'll relax at some point. This is the downside of assault rifles. They're not meant to be long-range weapons. Or at least they aren't in the game. I don't really know anything about assault rifles in real life. I wonder if a hunting rifle would do better. It might. Oop. Whoa. That is made of fail. That takes me down to pretty injured again. Oh. Huzzah. A sniper rifle. Great. Oh. And... One of my favorite weapons. Oh, and it's completely busted. Great. That sucks. I love sniper uh, rifles in this game. They are a lot of fun. Well, I guess that's all I really need to do for here right now. Really disappointed in this sniper, sniper rifle, but I might be able to have somebody fix it. And until I do... Whoa! Did somebody just fire something? I thought I heard somebody fire something. I do not see any red markers of foes. So if they do, they're just a little bit beyond my uh, my vision. <coughs> if I had a higher perception, yeah, I guess that's an okay weapon for now. A little bit shy on ammo for it, though. There's somebody nearby. Wonder what it is. Probably don't want to fight it. Now let's let's keep going this way. Cause I'm about to have a buddy, I think. And having a buddy makes fighting easier. But there are some foes right nearby. And I probably need to Oh, Nord. Okay. Whoa. Oh, bloody hell. Not good. Get another stim pack on me. Ooh. Okay. Well, I guess that worked out okay. Do wish that these guys just would have stayed away from me, but. On the other hand, they gave me more ammo. I'm not sure if I'm net positive on ammo from them. I'm probably not. Okay. Oh, 
And actually, I think I might have passed the junkyard that I want to be at. Let's see, where am I? Um, the junkyard is... Oh no, it's a, it's a ways north of here. Uh, it's not all the way to Minefield, though. It's just a little bit north of where I am right now. You do have to be careful in this game not to fall too far, because you can get injured. It's a little bit weird. Okay, and this is the junkyard, I believe, which I want to be at to meet my canine buddy. that up. Okay. Very grandiose way of entering. Okay. I don't really remember. It's been a while since I played this game. It's a fun game. But... There have been a bunch of other fun games. Somewhere in here, I think, is is a dog named Dogmeat. Oh, I guess I'll stand up and... Sweet. So I now have a canine companion, which is pretty handy. I think actually it's a body that I just looted, that of the traitor. That was probably his old master. Although I don't really like the, the term master here for, for critters. Get the weight down a little bit. And get the condition up a little bit. And how are we doing on, on weight in general? We are 139 of 190. That is acceptable. So we're going to continue northward on our quest to Minefield. Good boy. Now Minefield is actually chock full of mines. So we need to be very careful once we get near them. But if I'm quick enough, I should be able to stock up on mines. Actually, we probably want to approach from the side because there's a crazy old dude up there who likes to shoot at you. And he has a very nice weapon. And your head will be blown clean off if you're not careful. So... Head around here. Let's 
see, and how are we doing on time? We're at 1335. I'm aiming to have these be maybe an hour long or so. So... Let's see, I don't see any mines yet. I think he's in that building right over there. So we're gonna head up and circle around. Ooh, radioactive. Interesting. Not sure exactly what is radioactive here, but I guess the whole landscape has a good amount of radioactivity. To be careful. Okay. Um, dog, we're trying to be stealthy here. You don't want to make a lot of noise. Capiche? Okay. And there you can see our first mine. You can see that little cir circular thing down there? That is a mine. They blow up not too long after you s get near them, but if you can reach them first. Okay, so there he is. Let's see if we can take him out. Oh. Wow, one hit. Nice. Oh yeah, well let's reload this thing and then we'll put it away. Let's drop down. And again, we gotta be careful about the mines so that we don't get blown up. But now that he's dead, we don't need to worry about... Okay, so is this a mine here? No, that's just a rock that caught the light. But this is a mine. Okay. You also get a little bit of experience for disarming mines. Which is good. The trick is to actually spot them. And to, and to have your mouse angled right. Or your pointer angled right so that when you get near... You're not fumbling around because you do not want to fumble around uh, with these things. I've lost a fair number of characters to uh, not being careful enough. Sometimes you'll just uh, take great damage to one of your limbs. Okay, did I spot them all? I might not have spotted them all. need one of those. Aha, this is another mine. And another mine there. I definitely don't remember where these things are, so there is a certain amount of real oops possible here. Okay. I guess this is where that guy sleeps. I'm gonna sleep for an hour to recover all my health. Cherry bomb steaks. Oh, might as well take that. Medical brace. A lot of this stuff, even if it's... There are recipes that you can get that will do things with, uh, with this stuff. But I'm not gonna have them for a while, so at least for now I'm gonna wanna sell this stuff. Okay, there's the guy. Ah, another sniper ri sniper rifle. Oh. And, uh... Okay. That gets me a working sniper rifle. My favorite weapon. Huzzah. And, uh, not a lot to do with those. Okay. Well, that is all I strictly need to do here. Let's see if I can pick up some more mines. Oh. Phew, almost screwed that up. It helps a lot if you're ducking when you're do doing this. Okay, 
And there's another one. There's another one. So I think the key that I got from his body is what opened this up. Sometimes pick, picking things up is a little bit wonky. I guess I don't need to duck. I don't think there are mines in this house either. Hmm. Well, some more darts is helpful. At least it will be at some point. Then uh, again, ammo doesn't weigh anything. So I can keep uh, I can keep those darts until I actually get a dart dart gun to use them with. Uh, let's see. Is there anything special under? Oh, uh, well, these are always helpful. Okay. see what other houses I can make my way into. Mine is that? No. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, there might be more mines out here. Gotta, gotta be careful. Yep. Playground. And this. Ooh, lots of mines here. And, uh. Okay. Let's poke inside here. Well, I guess this guy's key really was a. Well, maybe he was a locksmith or just a really creepy dude, but it seems like his key unlocks everybody's house. Remember, sensor modules may be being kind of there. Okay. Ooh. A dead raider. Well, that's wonderful. Wastelander. Bomb. Cool. Ah, these houses... They're fairly similar. Reminds me a little bit of an old Malvina uh, Richards song. Uh, little houses made of ticky-tacky. Well... Okay. That should... Be good. Well, where was the exit again? Missing a mind here? Or, mm, I guess not. Okay, there, there it is. Um, and with this kind of scattered ground, it would be easy to miss a mine. Oh, but this, it was Old Man Gibson, I think. That was the name of that dude. Be kind of a terrible to have Old Man as part of your, uh, your name. Anyhow, let's turn on the flashlight. Oh, interesting. Locked model of home. <coughs> okay. 
Okay, nothing else down here. Pre-war books are useful later on. They do weigh something, so you ideally want to find a place place to stash them later on. But you do not want to give up on them. Same thing with scrap metal, actually, which you wouldn't think. You'd think scrap metal... Whoop, it, it's useless, but no, it's actually pretty useful at some point. Medex. Move. I'm sure that this is the most fascinating let's play in the world. You can watch me looting old houses. Oh. Oh, darn it. So what are my stats in lock picking? 19. Okay, I'm not going to be able to get good enough to pick one of those by reading that skill book. Bummer. Well, I guess that is probably it for um, for the neighborhood. It's, this leads off. I don't think there are any more mines this way. I'm not sure if we've entirely cleared the town of mines, but we've done what we wanted to do. We have 711 caps. There is something which I would love to do if we got a thousand caps. Hello? Were you just kidding about disarming that thing? All right. Well, I don't want to disarm want it something? quite yet. Because, and that relates to the 1,000 caps thing. Um, there's a companion that I'd like to get. But he'll only join you if your karma is relatively neutral. And there are various things in this that this game uses to track karma. So I want to have How are those hot little potatoes? My very own land. Now, tell. Lots of places are now. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while. And looking at this landmine. I. And that'll cover. Well. Okay, so let's sell some of our stuff. And we're actually going to sell the better condition stuff because it's easy, relatively speaking. Oh, I guess I really should have repaired this kind of stuff together for uh, talking to her, but that's okay. It's relatively easy to get... Um, more stuff to repair anything, so you don't really need to worry about keeping the good stuff for yourself. You want to keep the bad stuff for yourself. Oh. Although it would have been smart to have put on the roving trader outfit first, but oh well. Good hunting! But yeah, you also don't want to leave yourself unarmed, so there's a little bit of attention there in what to do. That's not too bad. Carrying a hundred pods, or pounds, or whatever they are. And that is good enough. Am I... No, I'm not really up to a thousand yet. Ah, there's a trader here. Looking to make a trip? Hey, hey, look. Crazy Wolfgang's got just what you need. Assuming you need the random junk that I've got. 
I'll sell the assault rifle. Can probably get new ones if I need to. Um, let's see, so for the 32, we either have a hunting rifle or a 32 pistol. Well, damage 14, damage 4, let's get rid of the pistol. this. Yeah, this still isn't getting me quite close enough to the magic number of 1,000. But a pleasure doing business with. It's progress. I think I'm going to uh, end it here. I will see you in the third, uh, in the third episode.